what advice would you give to young people? I mean, in a way you've covered it, uh, to enter your profession. What um, advice would you give? No, no, no. There's, you know, there's, there's, there's several things you can do. And I try to, when people say to me, can I, t can you talk to my son or daughter about it? I always try to do that because people talk to me when I was, when I was that age. There are several things uh, that you would do. One is you absolutely need to know your subject. So, you know, if it, and obviously it's not just talking about sport or football, whatever it is. So sport, football, cricket, politics, art, music, you need to know what it is. Um, and people say to me, well, how, how come, you know, you seem to know so much about sport? It's because I read the back page from the age of six. You know, it's, I didn't learn it. Unless it's Formula One, I need to learn it. Because forgive me, that's not a sport. I can't bear it. But, you know, basically, I've been reading about it since I was six. So it just builds up knowledge, you know, like sort of, you know, layers of rock. You need to know your subjects. Um, you need to watch and listen as much as you can. And I still do that now. So I watch and listen. Tell you, I'll do it when I watch the news later tonight. I like that. I don't like the way they're doing that. Why are they presenting that way? That's a good phrase. That's a good use of words. You're never too old. You're never too old to learn. You have to fully commit. This is a brilliant business, but it's a really antisocial business. The amount of times I've said to my wife, can't go to that party, sorry, can't go to that wedding, I'll meet you later. Can't go on holiday then, the football season's starting. Can't go there, no, it's the FA Cup final, whatever. You have to have a very understanding other half, and you, ha you can't be the sort of person who goes, I really wanted to go to that. This is your first choice. You have to, I know you have to commit to every job. You've got to fully commit to it, because it's fiercely competitive. You've got to have the hide of a rhino and you've got to understand that, that you're not going to get in everybody's team. Not everybody is going to think that you're the right person. You may not fit for a variety of reasons. They may not think you're any good. They, you're a man, they want a woman. You're a woman, they want a man. You know, there, there are hundreds of reasons why. It is the most subjective business that there is. You know, I've got a great boss at ITV now. He might leave next week. I might have another one. They might, you know, I, I might not suit them. So, I hope that answers a lot there, Richard. And, you know, don't be afraid to start at the bottom. In fact, you're going to probably start at the bottom. It's really good fun. It's really, when you're 22, 23, I worked in London, then I worked in Chelmsford. It was brilliant for two years. I did everything. You know, I commentated, I reported, I did election counts, everything. It's a really rewarding business. And if you like people, I like people. I'm incredibly nosy. I've already asked you, Richard, where you lived. I'm so nosy. You know, it's a really good job if you're curious and you like people and you like to know what makes them tick.